Yo, what's going on guys? Horcrux here. Welcome back to the channel and boy do I have a treat for you today. The MAGDK on the PTS is so devastating. I'm going to be going over all the changes and what I think is going to be one of the top meta builds going into the Deadlands DLC. Let's get right into it. Yo, welcome back guys, and before we get into the bread and butter of today's video, huge shout out to my patrons. You guys are phenomenal, there's so many of you guys, this channel would not be possible without you. I really mean it. And also, I'm doing PvP Top 5 guys, please, for the love of God, in the top right hand corner of the screen, click on the card, okay? Submit me clips, I need clips, so yeah, let's get into it. Go ahead and eviscerate the like and subscribe button, even before you watch the video, who cares? Just do it, roll the dice guys. <laughs> Alright, so what am I talking about, fellas? Oh man, I there's there's so much to unpack. I we're just gonna start somewhere. Alright, so the very first thing we need to go over are the changes to the passives. Uh primarily combustion. So combustion, uh you now uh, you now get a thousand instead of 500 each time you apply a burning status effect or a poison effect uh, this is capped off every half a second this isn't a big deal okay um this is actually just a hard buff to the mag dk in general because it's not like you was applying instances of burning like every other you know millisecond anyway right so this essentially gives you a chance to have like 2000 mag recovery just from this alone it's it's incredible okay and, and this this goes for your stamina as well we're going to be getting into all of the my build that i have put together for you guys just kind of give you an idea of what this is actually capable of so let's keep that in mind next thing to kind of keep in mind flames of oblivion now has three instances of damage instead of just the two so they keep con continuing to buff the skill this is actually a really good spammable now if you want to run molten whip but we're never going to run molten whip ever guys because of the changes to flame lash so now power lash targeting an off balance or mobilized enemy changes the ability to power lash allowing you to lash the enemy half the cost and dealing a shit ton of flame damage and healing you okay notice guys this is not healing over time now. This is a straight up, just flat heal. This is completely unbuffed. And if you was to like buff this guy up, right, we have uh, like a 9k heal. So there is no cooldown on this. You can literally sit and power lash again and again and again and again. No cooldown whatsoever. So now running Talons, in my opinion, is an absolute must on any mag DK. So this procs your off balance status effect on everyone around you. So if you see anyone immobilized, you need some health, you power lash, you power lash. Even if they roll dodge out of it, which is what you do as a mag DK, you Talons them, you wait for the roll dodge, and then you fossilize. So when you fossilize them, okay, it catches them in the roll dodge, and it also immobilizes them afterwards. Again, power lash, power lash, power lash. It's incredible the amount of healing and sustained pressure you can get just by being on your front bar plus you have a burning embers for a burst seal if there's no off balance targets it's insane it, it, it's i don't want to say broken but the power last changes do not ever change this exhaust leave it as is this is such a great change thank you so much for this not gonna lie so uh okay i i kind of came a little bit there just kind of talking about power lash but that's like the biggest first change. The next biggest change is the changes to the, uh, the traits. I actually did not uh, change my Deadly Inferno staff trait for this video because I'm uh, fucking retarded. But uh, here's they actually doubled the effectiveness of charge now. So now you increase the plants, your chance to apply status effects by 480%. Now, let me just go ahead and slot this for, for a second. Don't pay attention to the damage because this doesn't have a one of our sets proccing on it. But we're going to buff up. Look at the burning status effect, guys. Oh, okay, okay. Burning embers automatically applies it. Who cares? But look how often it reapplies. Every second. And of course, when I say that's going to proc, like literally every second, this is proccing, guys. And it's incredible. That's, that's a thousand magic back every single second. And plus, we have poison procs as well, which is going to give your stamina back. Like it's incredible. Like this, this, this change alone 
Like, you don't even need to run Heartlands. I know I kind of uh, praise Heartlands for having a crazy uh, enhanced stats effect by 960%, but the 480%, you already apply it like every second. You don't need it anymore. So Heartlands still will be pretty viable. But uh, for the sake of the video, uh, we're just going to go with this insane dot build. Now, as you guys saw, the burning stats effect. Now, now keep in mind, the burning stats effect hits about as hard as burning embers. Look. So they hit for about the same. And, and they can crit, right? So that's another heavy hitting dot in addition to your build that's always going to be up on your target, right? So you're going to have your poisons, you're going to have burning embers, you're going to have a burning stats effect, you're going to have talents, you're going to have engulfing flames, you're going to have... Yes, we're running this ability. You probably, you guys probably don't even know what this is, right? It's Ash Cloud. Yes, Ash Cloud or Eruption. So they changed this. Instead of having a heavy upfront mana cost, they changed it to where it's a toggleable ability and it costs you magic per second. Guys, look at the magic cost per second. Look what we're able to do. <laughs> I hope they leave this alone. This is definitely exploitable. Um, but originally this costs like 350 uh, magic per second. But if you run a cost reduction glyph on this, it costs you 47 magicka a second, which is fucking nothing. It applies one of the heaviest slows in the game, right? And it deals a massive amount of, again, dot damage. So if we buff this up, right, this, this, this dot damage is nothing to to shake a tail at. If someone's on you, they're getting hit by this is 2200 a second. Okay, in serial does like a, a thousand a second. Okay, this can also crit, right? And if you wanted to, you can opt for the healing version of this, but like the damage is insane and it costs nothing. You only have to have a, you, you just toss it down, right, guys? You go to your front bar and it just stays there. L look at my magical pool. It it doesn't even move it's a joke it's a free to cast ability essentially and it does a massive amount of aoe damage you can't get out of this and this has a really high status like a really high chance to apply uh the burning status effect as well it's it's pretty incredible i mean we just gotta let this guy sit here and marinate of course while i'm talking about this video is not going to apply any burning damage whatsoever so maybe because the target's immune to like this. Oh, there it goes finally. But I think that was from Rothgar. Anyway, Rothgar. Speak of the devil. It's back, guys. Rothgar is back. Well, after I get out of combat, I'll swap over to uh, Deadly Strike and kind of show you the amount of dot damage. This actually puts out, yes, it scales off direct damage, single target, and also dot damage. So, so this is... Damn near triple dipping. I'm not sure about the single target one. I know Drake damage and then Dot it does for sure. But look at the damage on Rothgar. If you guys remember, before, like pre patch, Rothgar was doing like 2k a tick, right? It's doing 1550 a tick right now. And it can now crit for 50% extra, right? So it's back. Rothgar is back. Yes, the chances to apply the bring. Sass effect is still nerfed from Rothgar, but this is also another heavy hitting AoE dot that you have access to on your on your DK. I love Rothgar. It, it is one of my favorite sets in the game. I'll probably be running this or Balrogs, any other monster sets in the game. So yeah, the other set we're running. We're running Deadly Strike. So this is getting the hybridization treatment. It gives you weapon spell damage, weapon spell crit, um, more weapon spell damage, and then it increases your damage over time abilities and your channeled abilities by 15%, guys. Like, j just look at the tooltips of some of this. It's it's insane. A 20,000 burning ember tick. Like, and then we have burning talons. I mean, this is damn near 10k over 4 seconds, right? And then engulfing flames, which you'll never see this, like, above 14,000 or 14 seconds. This shit's hitting hard as hell, guys. Unless they have a purge, they're done. Th that that's just how it is. They're done. You have flames of oblivion hitting you in the face. You have ash clouds hitting you. You have engulfing flames. You have talents. You have burning embers. You have the burning sass effect. You, you have leap incoming. You have whip whip and nay nay. Your power lash is constantly DK is going to be an absolute monster, guys. Please practice your DKs. And this damage can go up even further. But I put together a practical build for you guys, right? 
this is what I'm going to be running. Also, the changes to the Prismatic Onslaught Enchantment is the next change I want to go over. So now it deals magic damage cool, but also restores health, uh, magic and stamina, which this is pretty good. This equates to about 90 recovery and you know and then you know a, a nice little health proc you don't necessarily have to run this but i just feared it was good it was good to kind of incorporate um all the new changes on one build on the dk and this is probably why i'm gonna be running day one on the pts guys i'm not even gonna lie to you and then we have double dot poisons double dot poisons are going to be disgusting guys yes the poisons get buffed by deadly strike as well so when your poisons proc these things hit so hard guys like they hit so hard and not only do they hit hard right but they also proc your combustion passive as well giving you even more stamina back so you have no need for triglyphs you don't have to run dark elf currently i'm running bread and i just have max magic chance on everything your stamina pool is completely irrelevant due to just the innate nature of regaining all your resources and this isn't just put together like this build isn't put together to show you the damage like a 20k leap on tooltip guys look i'm running breton i'm running an atro mundestone i'm running fucking iron blood on the back bar we're running iron blood guys this is a practical build i'm not bullshitting you like you're gonna be super tanky like you even already have pretty good innate resistances as well right i mean i mean th this is pretty decent but on top of iron blood guys you're not gonna die and Iron Blood is going to give you the chance to get on your front bar, and you're going to stay on your front bar with the Power Lash change. It's amazing. You will not die. You just will not. Back bar, you'll get CC'd. Iron Blood's going to proc. You'll go to your front bar. You're going to have five, six seconds CC immunity. Power Lash, Power Lash, Power Lash. You're going to kill someone with all your ongoing dot pressure. I I know I sound like a huge fanboy of the DK right now, but this is how I expect the DK to be played. It's It, it needs to be played like a turn and burn class, all right? And the identity, notice all my skills are pretty much from the DK kit. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to class identity. All the skills on the front bar from the DK's kit, only one ability on the back bar is not from the DK kit, right? This is like the pinnacle of class balancing and what class identity should feel like i love these changes i really hope you guys do too also you know be with sugar skulls like this is going to be a monstrous build when it comes to pts guys so get out there start grinding like i don't even know what to say i think i went over all the changes that i really wanted to in this video and i hope you guys agree with me dust off those dks get back out there start practicing because here in about a month you know five weeks these changes will be going to go live. Hopefully they keep everything the way it is and the DK can be great again. So please guys, like and sub. This has been Horcrux. Peace.